My life since the bombs dropped back on October 23rd, 2077 has been pretty awful. I've lost my wife, my son, my home, my grandmother, sister, my whole family, all my friends, and yes, my entire world. I basically took a time machine 210 years into the future, and things haven't really gotten much easier since I came out of Vault 111. I just watched something that must have been really traumatic for Jack Cabot. It was a horrible scene play out right in front of me. He decided to end his father's life, just when he said he was so close to finding a cure for him. Whatever monster his father had become, I am sure Jack had good memories of him before this alien thing he'd become involved with. After I watched when I woke up to see what happened to my wife and son, I... well... I've been through a lot in my life. I'm just sensitive to it. Losing family is never easy, and I cannot imagine being the one to have to pull the switch. I know that sometimes you can experience an event and not feel it right away. You feel a twinge at the moment, but it just gets louder with a little time. When you're trying to sleep at night, that's when you think it through, and that's when it hits you. I myself experienced this in Alaska during the war after seeing friends and comrades get killed around me. But enough about that. At this point, I just want to go back home. Back to Sanctuary. I could spend an entire week there. And that's what ended up happening. We rested for a short while first, but I really just wanted to get a bit of shut-eye just so we could make it home quickly. There was an awful amount of work ahead of me at home. I had to outfit Curie, the woman I have really come to care for, both in armor and a weapon. I started it all from scratch and used not only the best materials we had for her armor, but I decided to boost mine as well to the best of my ability. Thankfully, we had enough materials for both, but in terms of leather and aluminum, we are getting low and I couldn't do this again for someone else. I modified a new weapon for her a weapon that uses 45s, and also shoots a form of radiation at the same time. It's a bit weird, but that's how it works. It looks like a hybrid radiation gun and a rifle. To tell you the truth, her weapon rivals the best of mine, except maybe my big gauze rifle. That, and I had nearly 3k45 ammunition for her, so she's been set up right. I decided to tell her when the time is right. We've been together out in the Commonwealth so much this last while that I'm more comfortable being around her. At least I hope I am. I love her. Well, if it isn't Jezebel, the uh, rogue brainbot. Well, you really are broke, because your master is now gone. Kind of does look like junk. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? <laughs> I expect you'll be leaving me behind. Typical. Uh, I'm not... I'm not giving you any more parts. No. This, uh... Makeshift protector. There's a lot of robots in town now. Um, Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. I gave him a lot of lasers. All systems go with them? All systems go. This unit is currently functioning at optimum parameters. Ready for next command. Hmm. Time to hit the road. Acknowledged. A lot of new people have... I don't know how many people even live here. That's probably a lie. Well, I don't know. Jezebel's got to do something here instead of just wandering around and complaining. What can Jezebel do? How about you, um... How about you farm? I don't... Anything that... I, there's nothing <laughs> that I can think of that Jezebel might not try to sabotage. Maybe Jezebel will start poisoning the food somehow. Maybe Jezebel, if I put Jezebel on scrapping, will start sabotaging the building so they'll collapse on us. If I put Jezebel... Actually, you know what? That being the case, 
You know what you can do, Jezebel? I think the least that you can do is... I'm going to actually make something else to protect this place, and I'm going to assign Jezebel there. What? Where did I get this? I got the schematics for this, actually, at the Mechanist Lair. Uh, scan for resources? Exactly what does that do? Okay. I mean, the robot workbench is one of the first things. Scan for resources? I honestly don't know. I don't even know. Okay, let's go to security. Jezebel can be on guard duty. But then Jezebel may sabotage the place by not telling us that there's people attacking. Well, well, we'll figure it out. I think the least Jezebel can do, though, is be on guard duty. I might put a building there at some point. Jezebel could sabotage our generators. Not like we couldn't fix them, though. All right, Jezebel, where are you? It is a very ugly robot. Ah, Codsworth, I haven't seen you around for a while. Why don't you, um, you should get on scrapping. I have to make another scrapping thing for him. There's Jezebel right there. Yeah, these are already, the scavenging stations are already occupied. No robe. The mechanist has sent me to help. I don't believe you. Yeah, I really don't. The Moore House. Okay, so... Such as it is, I'm just considering scrapping the thing and starting over. Alright, Jezebel, you're assigned. I don't like the idea of Jezebel being assigned right next to the generators, but... They're not nuclear generators, so there's not going to be some kind of radiation leak. They're just regular generators. And a windmill type thing that's not really moving very fast, but it does help. Alright, so I have been busy. We've been here for several days. Haven't done anything to my power armor, even though I'd love to. New bobble, charisma bobblehead. Lots of magazines. Okay, Curry, where are you? Curry! Why do people keep going up there? I can't reach that. Get down! I cannot get there. I can't reach that. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna go have a coffee. You can come join me if you want, Curry. Somebody's supposed to be behind the counter. Can we trade a few things? You're a yeah. bad boy. Yeah. So you say. Okay. Um. There's no, there you are, Kieran. There's no one to buy anything from, so make my own coffee. Seems to be growing well. Uh, I don't have any um, grinds on me. Gr coffee grinds. Donut fryer. Yep, they make donuts and coffee here. From what we scavenge, I mean, a lot of people do come. Traders come and buy this. Do you need something from me? Hi. <coughs> Tell me, you must have time now. Hmm. Well, I have really fixed her up. Her armor is about the best I can possibly come up with. We used a lot of resources to outfit her. Now, on her right leg, it is lined with armor as well. Doesn't look like it, but she is, and I gave her a really good weapon too. One of the better weapons that I could make. It's like a radiation, 45 millimeter radiation weapon, both in one. It's very strange. So, you're excited. What is it? I am elated. Hmm? I beg to become a sense for a reason, for science, to be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute fruit, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. Oh. I realize this is not earth shaking, but it means that inspiration does exist. Oh, you were practicing on me. Oh. 
How did you discover that? Mute fruit has a particular sugar compound that stimulates platelet production and can close wounds. Unfortunately, the plant, when grown in the wild, is irradiated and develops natural toxins to ward off pests. Strain 17 has been genetically bred in sterile conditions to remove both problems. The new pure sugar is already offering promise. <laughs> oh, wow. I was able to follow most of that. She's so pretty. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions. Experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me, my close friend. And I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. Hmm. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement was, I must tell you, it wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. Oh? You know. You mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. <laughs> what were you going to say? I am afraid to say anything more. I feel a coward. Hmm? Just speak your what you're feeling. It's okay. You mean a lot to me, too. I dared not hope. When we are apart, I guess and second guess. I should be only thinking about this achievement. Instead, my thoughts, they linger on you. What do you want? From us, I mean. I do not know. I have read so many medical textbooks, hmm. but none of them That's covered anything like this. the problem. All I know is I want to be with you. <laughs> I love you, Kiri. And I love you. The world seems so very bright, and I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. Kiri, come here. So, after spending several days in our new relationship we have together, very happy. I am very, very happy. I decided let's go and start visiting some of the places that I wanted to visit. There's first stop, this little town named Covenant, I was curious about, and then after that, maybe try to find this elusive railroad. It was just dog meat and curry. No more Ada, no more Mc, um, McCready. Okay, so I mean, I've heard good things about this place, Covenant. We've been through here just a few days ago. There's a big body of water right next to it. Yeah, we're running, gonna run up right against it. Well, let's not do that. I'm just used to using my jetpack. Yeah, and I don't really want to use my power armor. Uh, I know it's a lot more protection. Crass birdie bird in here. I don't think I saw that before. Well, it's still cold, nearing the end of February. Dog meat is always welcome with me. He's my good companion. He sleeps next to us on the sleeping bag. He'll alert us if anything comes after us.
What's this? The traitor? Yeah. Who? Belongs to who? Oh, here comes someone. Bunch of people. Hello. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. <laughs> if you say so. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. Are you threatening me? Don't you know who I am? Kind of in my territory, too. Well, maybe not. Covenant. It's a... That's another thing I wanted to do. Make contact with these people. They've got a little settlement here, I hear of. And it's pretty close to... I mean, Minutemen territories kind of all over here. And over here as well. This Covenant's right in the middle of it. So a bit of a diplomatic type move on my part. Some of these birds are synths, so... Jeez, the crows are loud. I don't remember them being that loud before the bombs dropped. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Covenant! What I should have done long ago. More with the riflemen. Hello? Are you here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. <laughs> is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Safe test? It's out of boat. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? Hmm. I'm new to the area. What do you mean by undesirables? You don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? That's what you're talking Some about. Some are... Since. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. Alright? A test? To see if you're a synth? Do I really have to take the test? Hey, rules are rules. You ready? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Haven't I heard that before? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. Okay, While working up. as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. But the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Uh, I'm not a doctor. Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Hmm. I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? <laughs> hmm, I was always good at pitching. Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. That your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? What? <laughs> These are kind of funny questions. Um... I'd give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical Class B. 
Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Hmm. I grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you do? Right now. Nothing else? I'm used to that. Wait, don't answer. Next. Well, you said there's oh, no, no wrong questions. Huh. There are no wrong You've been answers. exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. <laughs> What's the best course of treatment? Oh, oh. Uh. I dose myself with anti-mutagen agent. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. Whoa. You want it. Of course, What's I do want What's the best it. way to obtain it? <laughs> I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... <laughs> uh... Well... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Oh, what a pleasant little place. So Is what answers do I have to give to be thought yeah. of as a synth? Welcome to Covenant. Huh. What's going on, doggy? Pleasant looking place. They have turrets all around. Well, kind of like my my place. See, where sanctuary is is kind of on the end of any road, and it's on a bit of an island, almost a river flowing around it. Quite well defended. We've got, like they have here, walls. We have guards. Our place is much larger. This seems quite small. They're in the middle of a road. There's, I mean, look, Concord to the west, and Lexington and Concord to the west. And south is Boston. Malden's to the east. They're kind of in the middle of a lot. Well, I don't know anybody here. Got a little farm going? Not much. Oh. Hi. Tell you. Oh, oh, I heard about you. Oh. You're the stranger. I make things. You do. Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. Hmm. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns, scopes, and other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. Uh, You're gonna like it here. Like Everyone me. in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know. I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Okay. I'm finding this kind of hard to believe. Caravan came a few days back. We're Cat. told man stocked him. You saw him, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. Huh? We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. You from around? Hmm? <clears throat> you from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Mm, no, I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The oh. last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. 
It's a bit Help suspicious. me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Huh. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Hmm. Okay. I'm down. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Place is too good to be true, huh? Not a day goes by that I don't think my lucky stars that I live here. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> yeah? Yes? Oh, you know nothing about the caravan, I guess. <laughs> I hate this place. Really? Yeah. Well, there's... Four homes here. Pretty small, actually. Maybe, uh, leg's still on the you have anything for the pain? Doctor? Enjoy your stay! I hope so. Hey. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. <laughs> Nice to meet a friendly face. You're in luck then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Hmm. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. I don't think you would know how to check for them. I don't even know how. People here are really friendly. Why's that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. <laughs> the town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Oh, guns well, fired. The men would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> huh. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Uh. I wonder how going on. What's going on? Ghouls? Get we, we got a ghoul. These guns couldn't take them out? I just thought it was raiders or even ghouls. Uh, where's that woman I was talking to? Middle of a conversation. Just started my investigation, too. Pardon me. What did you do? Penny. Enjoy your stay. Again? I hope so. What? What now? Oh, what's going on? Sweet. These You're ones. Not killing what's anyone. with them? They look different. Bye. Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Where 
Where is it? This looks different. Ugh. Hate touching these things. Ugh. Flip lighter, pre war money. Whew. All right. Are we done with the ghouls? I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Um, where's that woman I was talking to? I have a robot here. Less rads, less mute fruit, same great taste. Try Deezer's lemonade. Oh, you're the one that makes it, huh? Um, sure. I'll take some. Enjoy. I wouldn't mind. Well, they said it wasn't real lemonade. Try to pass it off as lemonade. <laughs> Actually, it's all right. Hey, Deezer. Ninety-three percent of all visitors prefer Deezer's lemonade. I guess I'm one of them. I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? <laughs> lemonade. Deezer's lemonade, voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight. <sighs> What's in the lemonade? Jesus, lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. <laughs> uh, I'll get another one then. I'll take some. Limit one per customer per day. All right. Oh, here, here you are. Hey, Penny. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I hope so. Well, that didn't come to anything. Maybe the doctor will be able to talk. Hey there. Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. What's new, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. Hmm. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Could use some supplies, actually. Let's see what I can spare. Uh, I don't think I have. I don't think I picked up anything. I mean, I have a lot of caps, but antiseptic. I've got a lot of that. Stim packs. You know what? Oddly enough, we are short on aluminum. I use it whenever I repair my power armor, but I also used a lot of it when I put together uh, Curie's gun. A lot, actually. Surprising amount. Um, so what are we short on? Aluminum and... Oh, uh, what was the other one? I forget. Well, that's about it. I've got enough stim packs on me. Hey. Get your lemonade here! Really? Well, what does Penny sell? So, I mean, that's what this is, right? Trading spot? Penny. Enjoy your stay! I hope so. Uh... Are you close? Enjoy your stay. All right. Oh. Well, maybe Talia. Talia. Oh, you're back. Isn't Covenant just the best? Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help. Sure. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with sense? Sense? I I mean, no. The test makes sure that none of those get in here. They promised. Hmm. Who is they? They're... I really shouldn't be talking. I've got work. I have to go. What? Tell you. Do you need to use my tools? <sighs> no one I'm being brushed off. Hey, none of them will talk. This cell means business. They lock people up in there? Handcuffs. It's a terminal. Oops. Hey. Yes? I was just thinking of talking with you. Okay. Shit. Dog meat. 
Stop it. I'm just trying to get over to the terminal. Someone watch the door. Serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Okay. Uh, let's try. Yeah. Hacked. Gotta hack it. Uh, two likeness. I don't see anything that matches up there. Population O does, U does. Zero likeness, okay. Uh, leader list, the S and the last E matches up. Yes. Got it. What is this? Personal files? There's a lot of them. I haven't met some... Who is it? Fitzgerald that runs the place or something? I don't know. I haven't met him yet. Fitzgerald B. Concerns none. Notes Mr. Fitzgerald treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. It's not about... Spying on everybody who lives there. Fitzgerald P. Concerns mentions the synths as undesirables. Altercation with M. Bell. Frequent negative comments about other personnel and other places in the Commonwealth, specifically Diamond City. Severe reprimand for warning one trader about the Institute and their ways. Huh. Notes. If Mrs. Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I'd request she be resigned to the compound. Where's that? But she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. Nothing to be done but frequent reinforcement of our missions and its parameters. Sometimes I feel she cares more about running her store than our goals. So that's Penny who I just talked about. Penny Fitzgerald. I haven't met her husband. Huntley T. Concerns. Possession of contraband on three separate occasions. General antisocial behavior has made visitors uncomfortable. Notes. Huntley's new to Covenant, and given his past, it's understandable that he's jumpy. However, over time, the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be reassigned. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. Even when traders are in town, his absence is rarely noticed. And where is this compound? Huntley. T. Huntley. Uh, McGovern. T. Concerns. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. She's very compassionate. Could be... That could be a problem. Notes after bringing up my concerns to her, Mrs. McGovern has really come around. Part of our job is to act natural. What? Why? And if anything, she overdoes it. I really hope she's truly recovering instead of putting on an act. Even if it is an act, she's utterly indispensable to our operation. What is their operation? They just have a community here who trades? Uh, Montgomery. That's what every they want everybody to think. I guess. Montgomery P. Concerns none. Notes, I have no specific concerns about Dr. Montgomery O. Her. Looking at her now, you'd have no idea of what she's been through. The only niggling detail is that she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she resents being transferred here and would prefer to be working on the core mission. The hell? <laughs> But before she was here, our visitor's number one complaint was the lack of medical services, so we need at least one doctor here, and unfortunately for her, she's the only one qualified that has a suitable temperament. Swanson. Concerns none. Uh, Swanson keeps to himself. He works directly for the compound in administering the test. That's the guy I'm at the door. Um, and as such, I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community. Whether that's his orders or temperament, who's to say? You don't even know his orders? Okay, so I went over everybody. I haven't met Mr. Fitzgerald. I guess that's the only person. Uh, I don't know this Huntley either. Or is it... Oh my God, the one that runs back and forth for the compound. Fisherman Report. Draft. Mr. Huntley has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman named Unknown who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. Okay, that's in the lake right next to us, isn't it? The Stockton Retrieval Team has, an, has was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend... well, this is the draft. Oh, monsieur. Most impressive. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean that they have anything to do with that missing caravan, but this is very, very suspicious. 
It's in the lake. I was afraid the guns were all going to turn on us. Without my power armor, I'm not Mr. Invincible anymore. You know what? Excellent. Find some eggs. Bingo. Wow. Why this does is... one tiny settlement need so much firepower? No. It's pretty obvious why, but I like how this is all set up. I would have had more guns around it, actually. Very clean in here. Makes our place look a little rough and dirty. I've got power running. What? Okay, so that's the caravan guy. Again? Let's just get this over with. More ghouls. I saw it. You guys got it. It's a little annoying. Maybe they have a lot of ghouls come here. That's a serious lock. Need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. Oh, I've got... There's a key here. Well, it looks like a lot of people sleep here. God, these homes are so small. Hi. Good day to you. Thank you. Where is this Mr. Fi is that him? That would make sense. <clears> hey, <throat> a, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. <laughs> I know you and your secret compound are behind what happened to Stockton's caravan. Supposing, hypothetically, we are. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. How can you justify killing a caravan? It isn't as simple as all that. Hasn't our community been good to you and others passing through? So all I'm asking is you have a little faith in us. Surely there's room for compromise. I get stocked in survivors and we stay friends. I'd have to know more though. You sound sincere, monsieur. But you must see our position in this. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well... That's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. Mm. I'm finding this kind of hard to believe. That's not Mr. Fitzgerald, but I assume he's the one in charge here. Hi. Been a long time since we've had any trouble in town. That's impossible. Okay. It's the, uh... I'm gonna have to talk to him. What does it say? Welcome. From a brief rest to a long stay, we have everything you're looking for in Covenant. Located in the Central Commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade, for trade routes in the area. Our guest dormitories are spacious, well-appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. For large caravans, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you, ha you enjoy your stay here as much as we enjoy having you. Sounds friendly. Covenant History. We're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. 
Our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know and we'll beat it. Tell your friends. I actually wouldn't have mind seeing the um, what they have to sell. We often get asked about the safe test. What is it and why is it necessary? Your safety and ours is our number one concern here. And the safe test is how we maintain it. The test is designed by some of the old world's greatest minds to get a detailed psychological profile of its participants. People fail the test for all sorts of reasons. Antisocial tendencies, vulgarity, and mental health, to name a few. Often they'd be just fine if we let them in, but we're extra cautious to ensure that only good quality folk, like yourself, get to enjoy the comforts of Covenant. Remember, it's all for your safety. Uh -huh. See what you did there, um, you know. They seem to have a real anti-synth bias, I and mean, I can't blame them, but... I don't know, like, I, I don't even feel comfortable here. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Well, what have you been up to? Not a lot. Everyone's got their eye on me. But I'll keep trying. Maybe I found out something. You bargaining with me? We work as equal partners, or not at all. That's fair. They're at some compound nearby. That's what I like to hear. We're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hmm. Well, I don't know where else they could be. He already said that he found a caravan there's dead people there. I don't know where that could be. He said it was really close. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, the, oh, strange looking ghouls. Like they're burnt, but they're red on the inside. All right, well, I don't see a caravan. Soggy, cold, and wet. I still want to make, have peaceful relations with these people. Definitely not going to tell you that Kerry is a synth. Well, what are you doing, taking the road around the other side? I guess you have to. I'll meet you at the compound. All right. Another one of these go it late at night type deals. Well, there's a little lamp over there, it looks like. I don't know, I, I don't even see an entrance. There's something over there. I see pipes and I see a lamp. Looking good, huh? I hope you have no need of this thing back, but just in case. Thank you. That's kind of you. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna kiss you now. Time to see what this Covenant place is all about. Watch out for Meyer Lurks. Is that somebody there? Oh, <laughs> it was at one time. Wow.
What's with all the flowers? And... I mean, it's cute, but also kind of creepy at the same time. Oh, who's this? You the fisherman? Mucking around the shore at all hours. Scaring my fish. Sounds rough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I thought this was solid. Oh. Come on, there's a door here. Yeah. I think I was gonna fall into freezing cold water. Oh, there he is. I hate this place. If you say so. Alright, what's going on? So I'm here to talk with these people. This could also be an ambush. Be careful. Just because Jacob found for you doesn't mean you could have been caught. Why should I let you in? Why should you let me in? What exactly is this place? I'm asking the questions here. So why should I let you in? I just want to talk with whoever's in charge here. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Hmm. We'll see. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Hmm. Why are they so hostile? I'm the Minutemen General. We have communities all around Blight. this place. Hey, Blight! Torture. They are sick. Just give me the signal. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. Done the with them. interview's over. I like Just it. reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. What's going on here? Let me come in armed, so that's something. I'll try to talk with this person that's in charge here. Because we, I feel like I'm a hair's breadth away from this turning into a big fight. I'm trying to be diplomatic here. I don't see body parts the all first around. first outsider that's been in here. Sounds like nonsense to me. Um. So they're not hey, like how's it going? Sick I'm raiders. Fine. Thanks for asking. At least so far. Oh, who is in charge here? Hey, extend the platform. Order sent them. I just I'm not a fan of their hostility though fact that they're not very open. You coming, Manny? Dog me, stop getting in the way of everything. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. What are we going in circles here? I like their turrets. Yeah, it's it's There's nothing. A lot of people Never here mind. if this turns into a fight. And we are going deep inside their compound. Yeah? It's nothing. Never mind. Reminds me of when I was underground with those rad spiders and that. Place. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. <laughs> we come to an agreement, or there's violence. 
There are no other options? Too much is at stake to allow you to simply leave. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest oh, creation. Oh, I read about that. The synths. As long as back. the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths. I don't think you to can. To root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? What kind of test is it? Like, <laughs> It would have to be like some kind of technological test that scans for artificial, say, chips inside of them. Questions? I don't think you're going to find a synth with questions. This is kind of a joke. <sighs> Are you being... Someone needs to destroy the Institute. A perfectly rational response. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Are you serious? Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. I find this hard to believe. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. What kind of The margin of, of error is admittedly high. Four or five false positives per synth. Ugh. But one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. You're saying it's 80% failure rate. But what do you do with them? But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. Hmm. It is distasteful. So you beat them, that's what you're saying. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. <laughs> I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Wow. Seems like if I accept Covenant, he attacks. If I <laughs> don't accept Covenant, they attack. Covenant's a refuge? Over the years, we've recruited like-minded individuals. All of our lives shattered by the Institute. Covenant is primarily about administering and refining the safe test. But some consider the humanitarian side equally as important. If Damn. you destroy what's left here, their lives will be upended again. <sighs> Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Damn it. I under I totally get why they're paranoid. I See our little sanctuary, not little compared to them. Well, I don't know. This place is pretty large. We're open. We're very open. We don't uh if somebody we have a synth and I'm friends with Nick Valentine, I'm ready he's to also an old synth. If you are I, I can't accept this, though. I mean, especially with Curie. I can't. 
That's a deal I won't accept. You have violated your most sacred oath. Then you'll just have to kill me. Watch yourself. I won't be any trouble. Doesn't look like I have a choice. Get him! Alright, we're gonna have a massive fight getting out of here. I knew we were coming. Must have tripped some sort of sensor. I bet you 50 caps there's a lot more where they can Okay, well, yeah, you there's a lot more, alright. Watch out! You're not leaving here in one piece. Want some more? I think we're done for now. I had a feeling this was gonna get violent no matter what. Alright, we need to find this girl. Hell yeah. Compound key, that could help. Auto caps, certainly. Nice. Bobby pin. Oh. Is that her? Let's hold on up there. What the what hell is this thing? Is this their test? Kind of <laughs> Looks like this is their the test machine. Must be eliminated. Yeah, they're still coming. They don't stand up too well to my bullets, though. Nice. Not at all. Ugh. Time to put on a show. Oh. What's going on? I was being pushed. Do what you gotta do. Let's get sure. this over with. I'm glad that's over with. Okay. And more are coming. Oh, they just fold really easy. I'm I'm used to tougher people than this. I have enough firepower to waste them all. No problem. Alright, uh, I want to see this, what's in this terminal. Well, oh, they've got an actual synth over there. Stored messages. Regarding retrieval, team ready. From Rosalind Chambers to Manny. Till this whole Honest Dan affair is resolved, this is pretty current. Stand down. The Stockton retrieval drew too much attention. Mr. Fitzgerald is furious you extracted Subject 14 so close to Covenant. See that doesn't happen again. From Manny to Rosalind Chambers, our team's all patched up and ready to grab some synths still tracking Subject Boyd. Just give us the order. Dr. Rogers rant. From Rosalind Chambers to Tack Blythe. No idea. I do not need a degree in socioeconomics to realize Covenant's trade policies are unsustainable. As soon as we can't afford the subsidies, Mrs. Fitzgerald will increase her prices to attain self-sufficiency. Commercial traffic was slow, but more than traders visit Covenant now. Attack Blythe to Rosin Chambers. One of the Dr. Rogers' points concerns me. Covenant has had a net operating loss since its inception. Its expenses are staggering. The fusion batteries alone are princely, a princely sum. The assets seized from the captured subjects in no way makes up this massive deficit. If we were a business, I'd say we're a couple months away from bankruptcy. So, I guess they think that somebody's a synth and they go and they take them and beat them. But they've got an 80% failure rate. From Rosalind Chambers to Emmanuel Rogers. Do you think these objections have not been raised before? But by all means, propose a viable alternative. But bear this in mind. Fact, we need a large data sample. The larger the better. In fact, the initial test is most effective if the subjects are close to their psychological baseline. In fact, if the Institute gets a single hint of our existence, our mission will end before it has truly begun. Covenant was designed from the ground up to track visitors, and it is working. Our data pool is increasing at an exponential rate, and the subjects take the test voluntarily and unaware. Effectively, the test is hiding in plain sight. From Emmanuel Rogers, Rosalind Chambers. Covenant is a mistake. I cannot dispute Dr. Ryan's case for the therapeutic value of the community, but our mission must come first. The wide variety of risks we expose ourselves to is outright foolish. My concerns should not have been summarily dismissed. 
There must be another saner way. Oh, that's that. Unlock cell one. How long have you been here for? Look at how you stress, Amelia. I thought I'd never get out of there. Are they feeding you? You look really skinny. Okay, well I don't know if it's safe to leave here yet, but anybody else locked up? I gave her a big chunk of roll mat, uh, more rat meat. So they have since. I don't know if they found these out and destroyed them or took all the flesh parts off. But the synths that they're making these days, they don't look like this underneath. They're pretty much just human. Might be a chip in the brain, though, and that's about it. All right, Honest Dan. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. Alright. You holding out on me? They call me Honest Dan for a reason. That's exactly half of what Stockton agreed to pay me. Okay. Not one cap more, not one cap less. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. He didn't actually tell me what the total amount was, so... Alright. Well, we might have to shoot our way out, or... I'm gonna have to see if Come I can't get Papa. ammunition from these idiots. Sweet. I didn't want it to come to this, I really didn't. I tried, but if it's between me and... and I mean, I'm just lucky they didn't know anything about Carrie. What if they'd taken her? I would have gone ballistic on them. These guys are so easy to bring down. I guess I'm getting good. What? Huh? is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. That was marvelous. Where was that other room with that guy? Is that here? No one panic! Time to get crazy. Kill them all! Barred from the other side. You're dead. Bottle caps, 45, 10 millimeter. Okay, so they extended we'll it here. You, have to. Just leave. you want us to go, but you're still there. I don't know. Do what you gotta do. My I, I can't get through. No point. This is near the end. There's still that other room with that guy that in the lab coat. Huh? Figure you won't just hey. run, right? I'll take this though. Hey, watch out, talk me. Bye. I don't okay. quite Keep calm. know where Probably to go. Enough. Oh, I did. I, we doubled back. Okay. We just double back. This is where we were. What's... I don't think that there's any way out. This way, we've got to find a way. Not this way, I'm going back again. This way. What the? Getting a bad. Let's do it. What is happening? I think we're done for now. I think we found our way on the other side. 
Bottle cap. Mine now. Fusion cells. There's a good dog. That machine again. Oh, a bunch of things to take. Think I'm scared, huh? Still more of them around. Office terminal. Dr. Rogers' personal terminal. The last question. From Tack Blythe to Research Team All. I know this sounds insane, but do we need to ask the last question? Without the limiter of multiple choices, the answers will admittedly be more varied, and so the psychological reaction will be different. But maybe it is a core part of the experience? We're seeing marginal improvements of the test's accuracy. To be candid, the improvement is within the margin of error. Perhaps we should consider something drastic. Red Herring. For what it's worth, I agree with you. Question 4 was always Montgomery's baby. From Emmanuel Rogers to Research Team All, I think Question 4 is a red herring. We do not have a monopoly on detecting synths. In the Commonwealth, people trip up infiltrators all the time based off their imperfect behavior and memory. It is indisputable that the baseball question produces abnormal results, but I think it is, at its heart, this is not a psychological trigger. Oh. Instead, it's a defect in memory. So if we pin all of our hopes on question four, then it's just one wetware update later that we're back to square one. I know you dismiss my insistence that Q3 is the key, but if we have more sophisticated monitoring of test subjects, EKG, pupil dilation, response time, then the subliminal data would speak volumes, since are incapable of true feeling. So again, question three. Montgomery. Attack by Emmanuel Rogers. Chambers surely has to see losing Montgomery is a mistake. I don't care if Covenant is lacking medical assistance. Our limiting factor isn't the stream of test subjects going through Covenant. It's our acquisition rate of test negatives and our research bandwidth. Montgomery is far more important here than giving scavers checkups. Can you please talk to Chambers about this? Yeah, nothing really that important. Toolbox. Nice. Oh, monsieur. Most impressive. It doesn't take much to impress Curie. At least for me, anyway. Such 12 brief. Good riddance. Son of a... They actually hit me there. Alright. Uh, what is this? Confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post-mortem. And any progress on question three? None. The EKG shows nothing unexpected. The answers are too damn predictable. You've made your opinions quite clear on the value of question three. Removing it could invalidate all the data. Want some more? Our methodology was exhaustive. Subject 12's answers in regards to baseball and his childhood were particularly fascinating. See here and here. We need another failure to explore this further. Let's get on with it. Do nothing more I'll let the rest of the nation final crossing. Really don't like doing this. But... Hey, this is not the room that I saw earlier. Shock and shell. Need some coffee cups from ceramic. Another hollow tape. I got a kid, I... Do you want another treatment? No. So, again, congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I've already told you. Catcher! Again. Glad I said pitcher. Which position? Catcher, right? Be the catcher. Why? I I don't know. They they got the the funny the funny helmets. I saw a picture when I was a kid. Hmm. Do synths even know the rules of baseball? No, please. I'm not. Uh, just let me. No. Oh, just these, answer the questions these and people only are bad. the questions. Oh, Congratulations, there? you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Sweet. That was him. Goodbye. 
There's a lot of them left. Let's just get this over with. I'm not sure. How many bullets I got? We may not be alone. Get him, dog. Get him. No way is this. Lights out, pal. Chop and shell. This is where I first came in. We found our way out. Yeah, I feel awful. There is no good way to come out of this. They're kidnapping people. They're accusing them of being since. I don't think that their tests are actually working. Nice. She was traumatized as a young woman. She's doing everything she can to find sense, but I don't know. Don't think it's working. Where am I? Is the same guy? Shh. Oh. No, no, no. How are the subject's vitals? It's a little unsteady, but within. Who, who are you? What? What's... Only when spoken to. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject, answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test... Ah! Answer the question. Don't know what that is. What I, 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 I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I ignore him. Uh, ignore him, you say. Into the cold. Oh, fascinating. <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. Had enough of this place and these people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.